What's up, Pep Nation? It's your boy, CO2. We're back here, Pep Project, man. Hey, week three, day three, max strength. And we chose to put this at the end of the week, man. It's about finish. It's about finish. We dug deep today. Make sure you guys are digging deep at the end of the week. Finish strong. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Pep Nation? Let's get to work today. Now we're gonna jump into some exercises. They're gonna help you with your range of motion, but also help you strengthen that range of motion, which will give you the ability to express yourself in greater positions, helping you to reduce and lower your chances of injury. The first exercise is called a barbell hip airplane, which targets the hip complex region, opening up that hip joint, creating more fluidity in that area, which develops hip mobility and hip stability, which are very important for athletes. The barbell and plate give you added balance, but it also allows you to get more range of motion in the movement. Make sure to take your time and don't rush. Focus on grabbing the ground with your feet and opening up your chest. If done correctly, you will not only experience greater range of motion, but activate and prime the small intrinsic muscles in your feet and fire up that glute muscle. Two sets of five reps per side. Next is our overhead barbell landmine switches, working on overhead strength and stability, along with being able to transfer side to side in that frontal plane, working on both strength and mobility in low positions which a lot of athletes lack and why athletes tend to get hurt because they're not able to control their deep range of motion, causing strains in the groin region. Focus on maintaining an upright posture with minimal curving in your low back. Make sure your core is tight and you have a straight line from your hands all the way to your hips. Don't pop up, transfer side to side while also keeping your foot flat to the ground. Your hips will thank you once you're finished complete two rounds of five reps per side. All right, now we're gonna jump right into our final four exercises that finish off our muscle activation series. The first exercise is our curl to press, 10 repetitions, followed by band pull aparts for 20 repetitions, which both focus and target the backside posterior chain region and shoulder complex. Followed lastly by bilateral glute bridges, five reps times five second ISO hold, making sure to only feel it in your glute muscles by pushing the ground away by driving your heels down into the ground. Then we're gonna jump into our side plank hey, with an upper leg lift. So really getting that abduction, also known as a starred plank, which really primes the glute inside obliques. We're gonna do this for 20 seconds each side. So once finished two sets of the entire complex, we're ready to go, let's get this party started. All right, guys, so going into our strength portion of today's workout. So again, because it's max strength, I focused on a one rep max for these guys. We were working at 80% of the one rep max, but because we had access to the push technology, really what we were looking for is that max strength or accelerative strength zone to work in, which is 0.5 to 0.75 meters per second, roughly. Now, if you don't have access to that, you can just go ahead and use the basic percentages that are in the program. That's not a problem. We did the trap bar deadlift, and then we superseted that with the single leg Bulgarian split squat with dumbbells. Now, both of those lifts had a three second eccentric followed by a quick, explosive, and controlled concentric. All right guys, onto our upper body movements now. So we went ahead and did the dumbbell high incline bench press. Now the reason that we did the high incline is because we've already done the bench press uh, as it is this week. What we wanna make sure that these guys are doing is really working on that overhead capacity, but also recruiting that chest, making sure that we're getting nice power and stability out of that movement. That's why we picked the high incline bench press. Now for the, for the chin up, it was a neutral grip chin up, you can go Pull up or chin up, it's totally up to you. And again, we did three sets of six on both, superset together with a three second eccentric, followed by a nice explosive, all for the chin up controlled movement on the concentric portion of the lift. 
All right, guys, we absolutely smashed the strength portion of this workout. Now we're just doing the accessories, just making sure that we're getting a little bit of conditioning in here, but also making sure that we're working on those holes or gaps in a program that are gonna make these guys really bulletproof and, and well-rounded. So the first lift for us was the dumbbell 3D step up. It's two boxes set at two separate heights. One is lower, the first box is lower. Second box is higher, really working on that drive and stick and making sure that we're being able to hold those dumbbells in the same position, they're not swinging around and then moving over to the higher box. We did that and superseted that with a plank on a stability ball with a stir the pot. So basically really working on making sure that because in real life athletics, we always require core stability with the extremities, upper and lower, moving about that stable core. That's why we included the stir the pot exercise to make sure that we have the upper extremities, the arms moving about that stable core, nothing else moved. That was a great exercise for these guys to do. Last, but definitely not least, we worked on a little bit of muscular endurance right at the end there. And it was a, you can set the metronome, you can find this on YouTube. If you type metronome 50 BPM, you set that and then you're doing tempo push-ups, just like we did in testing. Really what we wanna make sure is that muscular endurance is still improving. We've got two sets of 20 reps according to that metronome. And hopefully next week, we're gonna go a little bit more and really push the ball on that one. All right, guys, so that's the end of our workout. That was an awesome workout. Both of these guys really pushed the boat, really made sure that they were improving. It's really difficult when you're doing strength work to make sure that you get to the end set because it can seem like such a long time with the rest periods and everything included. But it's really important for your athletic development that maximum force development is also included in the program. That's why we have not shied away from including your basic, your everyday strength exercises in this program.